Yo-Yo Games Limited is a software and game publishing company based in Dundee, Scotland. It is best known for developing the proprietary, game development IDE, GameMaker Studio for Windows which can compile cross-platform, originally created by Mark Overmars. On 16 February 2015 the company announced that it had been purchased by Playtech for £10.65 million .4 million United States dollars. History On 26 January 2007, Mark Overmars announced his partnership with a company based in Dundee, Scotland called Yo-Yo Games. The company, headed by CEO Sandy Duncan ex-vice president of Xbox Europe, was founded to support the future development of GameMaker and to build a community for developers and casual gamers who could upload their games to the website. The company established its European office in Dundee in May 2010 by opening an office within Aberté University with two team members. The company currently employs more than 25 employees. Yo-Yo Games has announced plans to create an additional 25 positions, over the next 18 months, in systems development, software engineering, sales and customer service. The employees will be hired to help the company keep pace with the rapid evolution of the global games market and demand for game maker, studio. To accommodate this expansion, in June 2013, Yo-Yo Games moved from its old location within Aberté University into new office space on Dundee's waterfront redevelopment. On 16 February 2015 it was announced that Playtech acquired Yo-Yo Games for £10.65 million USD .4 million. <laughs> Digital rights management In late 2012, early 2013, Yo-Yo Games released a version of their studio IDE for cross-platform development that would import games and destroy all of the image-type resources for some legitimate purchasers of the software by superimposing a pirate symbol on top of the image. This was due to a fault in their digital rights management software implementation which they use as a method of combating infringing copies of the software. Yo-Yo Games publicly stated they would remove the DRM at a later point in time, but that other less invasive DRM techniques would remain. 